Pomona, California. I love collecting beautiful old vintage books, but I don't like to read them. I like to alter them. Today I'm going to make this beautiful altered book keepsake box. This is my studio where I create all my beautiful altered books. All my favorite things are here. My paper, my ribbons, my buttons, my bows. Okay, I've got everything I need to get started creating my altered book keepsake box. Here's an old vintage book that I picked up at a used bookstore. I'm going to take this gel medium and glue the sides of the book together to create one solid block. I'll use some wax paper to protect the parts of the book that I don't want the gel medium to get on. I finished gluing the sides of the book, but I protected a couple of the pages at the front of the book because I'm going to use them for something later. Here's the book, all glued now in a solid block, ready for me to cut a hole right in the middle, a nice niche. To do that, I'm going to take a template that I created and a pencil, and I'm going to mark off where I want my niche to be. I'm going to grab a craft knife and a metal edge ruler, and I'm going to start cutting. I'm going to cut to a depth of about three quarters of an inch into this book, creating a nice deep niche to put in a keepsake. Keep cutting, and page after page after page after page after page after page after And then you have to keep cutting. I don't know how many pages I'm going to need to remove, but there's going to be a lot of paper. See what I mean? Next, I'm going to glue these pages together with a glue stick to create one solid page. So I'm going to grab a cutting mat to put in between my pages. That'll help give me a harder surface to glue again. So now I have a solid set of pages all glued together as one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a window in the set of pages so I have a window to look through to my niche underneath. Finished now. I've got the niche cut, I've got the window cut, but now I need to decorate it. This is deli paper. I'm going to use this to create my own decorative background paper for my book. I'm going to take three different colors of acrylic paint and I'm going to create stripes across the deli paper. I'm going to grab a very expensive art supply tool, an old credit card, and I'm going to use this to blend the paint. my deli paper is dry, I'm going to grab a rubber stamp and an ink pad and I'm going to stamp some images on the paper. Now that I've done all my rubber stamping, I'm going to apply a metallic glaze to give this a nice sheen and shimmer. I use a baby wipe because it's a little bit moist, so it helps to blend the paint. I'm going to let this dry for a few minutes and it's ready to apply to my altered book. My deli paper has dried, and I went ahead and created a separate sheet with a slightly different method where I laid a texture sheet underneath, and when I scraped the paint across, it left a relief pattern on the deli paper. I also went ahead and just with my book, which acts as a primer because I'm going to paint it later. Now I'm going to start attaching the deli paper inside the book. And I'm going to use my bone folder to smooth the paper. Next, I'm going to cut this window out. I'm going to move this piece onto this side of the page where the niche is cut out. X marks the spot. Now that I've cut the X over the niche, I'm going to cut an X over the window. Before I glue it down, I'm going to attach a piece of mica with four brads. I'm going to lay that down on there and use a Japanese screw punch to punch four holes. These are my mini breads. They're really, really tiny. Now that my mic is in place, I can finish gluing the deli paper. So I finished gluing the inside of the now I'm ready to decorate the outside of the book. And I'm going to use some beautiful ephemera, which is decorative vintage papers that I'm going to collage on top of the cover of the book. Now I'm going to add a little romantic phrase to the inside of the book. The phrase I'm adding is, only you have the key to my heart. I'm ready to paint around the edges to make it look more like a box and less like a book. Look how beautiful that looks. 
I'm going to add a little bit of metallic glaze to give it a little sparkle. It's time to turn this altered book into an altered keepsake box, a jewelry box. So to do that, I'm going to add some feet. So I pre-painted these balls burgundy to match the book, but now I'm going to add a little bit of glaze. I'm going to use some super strong glue to glue the balls to the bottom of the book. I'm going to flip it over, set it to dry, and now it's looking more and more like a jewelry box. My feet have dried, and I've added some final finishing touches, this beautiful hand-dyed silk ribbon, this wonderful vintage key. Inside the book, I've added some copper foil tape to the edge of the pages, and there's one thing I still need to add, a piece of my heart. The transformation is complete, from vintage book to altered keepsake box.